Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio, and today I'm gonna share with you how to create that localized color glow effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page, and here I have a clip in my timeline of some butterfly, and I would like to make the wings of the butterfly and here uh, the flower glow and just localize that glow on those oranges colors. To do that, the first step here gonna be to select our clip and then we're gonna hold option and lift that onto the second track if you're on Mac. And if you're on Windows, you're gonna do the same thing, but instead of holding option, you're gonna hold Alt and then just duplicate it, that clip. Then you can select here your original clip and hit the letter D on your keyboard to disable that clip. And then we can go over to the color page. In the color page, we're gonna go to the node area and we're gonna right click. And here we're gonna select add alpha output. It's just gonna bring that blue dot right here. And then we can link the alpha output of our node to here the alpha output. Now we're gonna go to our qualifier HSL. So we're just gonna click on the qualifier here. My tab is already open. And then by default, the picker gonna be selected. You can just go over the color that you want to select. So here, that's gonna be my oranges. I'm just gonna select as much oranges as I can to have like a good selection. Here, I'm gonna go to a moment in my clip where it's uh, more prominent, where I have a lot of it. As you can see here, it does a fairly good job, but now we need to make that selection a bit cleaner. We're gonna do that by adjusting the U, the saturation and the luminance. So here, I'm gonna start with the U and I'm gonna select a wider range of U. As you can see here, it makes the oranges here less grainy and more full because it's selecting a wider range of U. And then for the saturation, I think I'm probably gonna go almost all the way up because the color is very present and very strong. And then here for the luminance, I'm gonna go towards the higher hand to select more of the highlight in the floor. I think I got a pretty good selection. I'm just gonna scroll around in my clip to see if everything looks fine. And I think it's quite good right now. It doesn't pick up any artifact outside of those color. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that selection. So we can go back over to the edit page. Now with that alpha channel selection that we made, we're just gonna right click on it and create a new compound clip. And once that's done, we're just gonna here bring back uh, that clip. So we're gonna hit D on our keyboard and just bring that up. So basically we're gonna apply the effect only here on that selection and that will be just the rest of the clip uh, happening in the background. So now let's move over to Fusion. We're gonna select all media in, and then we're gonna hit shift space on our keyboard, and we're gonna search for glow, which is gonna bring that in. As you can see, it's already adding some glow to effect, but we're gonna increase that by adding a soft glow. So here, shift space again to open the select tool window. We're gonna search for soft, and here we're gonna bring a soft glow node. And as you can see, it increase the intensity of our glow. So now we can play with the glow size and making the glow a bit more diffuse. As you can see here, when we are increasing the glow size, then here the glow will be the intensity of that glow. So it can be a bit less or uh, if we crank all the way up, as you can see, it just ultra saturated. So right now I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Then we can move to the soft glow and the soft glow gonna behave relatively the same way. So here we can adjust the gain by increasing the gain or reducing the gain. By default, I'm just gonna leave it like that, maybe decreasing it a little bit. And you can also increase the glow size right there to make the glow more diffuse. Personally, whenever I want to use that, most of the time I'm gonna go with something that is quite diffuse because it looks a bit more cinematic and just a bit more low key. That's my own experiences. But if you want to have something that has a lot of intensity, you can just reduce that glow size and you're gonna have something that is packed into the color and that's gonna be a lot more punchy. Now, the last step, if you want, you can hit shift space once more and we're gonna search for a color corrector. And basically, and what it's gonna allow us to do is here we're gonna be able to change the color of that glow. So we can basically then switch for any color that we like on the color wheel and replace it. And it's gonna affect the color here of the wing. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create this effect in DaVinci Resolve. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.